uh, it's going to be a relatively simple procedure. This is really easy to do if, if people understand how to do it. If you get perfect contour, take it slightly beneath the free margin of the gingival tissue, and if you get a perfect blend of the restoration of two surface. So the preparation is very important. So you can see I'm going up here and I'm going on to the fresh enamel and I'm creating what's called a long bevel. Now one of the ways I get beneath the free margin is with the use of this flame shape burr. It's a very uh, small flame shaped diamond. At the same time, I'm refining the bevel just to blend it up into two surface. And then I'll transfer it to a 6862 diamond just to refine the bevel further. got to all the way into the proximal so we hide the proximal margin too. I'm going to add the material to follow the contour of the tooth surface and you're going to follow the convexity all the way up but you're going to blend the material on the tooth surface past that long bevel. We'll apply the etchant. These brushes are the Cosmet brushes. The reason I use brushes is because I can get the etchant down beneath the free margin without irritating it. So now we take the bonding agent and we apply it and then we flood it. Three coats, that's all you need. Grace has already started to express it. So it's easy for me to express once it started. And we're just you can see how gently I'm flowing that in. We take it right down to the margin and it stays right where we put it. That's the beauty of this. And once I've done that, then I can add the material over the top easily. Before sealing the margin, a quick light cure. I just have a little ellipse of material. I roll it in my fingertips. Bring the material to the gingival aspect of the tooth and milk that baby right underneath the free margin using this instrument. You can see the way this blade goes right underneath the free margin without damaging tissue. But there's nothing that handles like a microscope. There's no material on the market handles like a microfill. No material on the market polishes and finishes like a microfill. I'm right. Then we hit it with aluminum oxide on both sides, and we're ready to start the next one. But I'm, what I'm doing here is following the convexity of the two surface. So if you notice, I rotate the burr and the, my hand following the convexity of this two surface, wiping out any margin that I might have. And as I come towards the gingival, you notice I'll cut on the gingival tip of this burr. Okay? And so that's the way we keep maintain the contours of these teeth. Under here, if you're familiar with carbide burrs at all, you ch chatter, they have a, chatter, have a tendency to chatter and break that off, whereas this cuts finely. 
okay? And you get a perfect margin. We went through medium, now we're going through fine, and I blended this into the other composite. You can't even see it. Just a little sheet, little polishing paste on each tooth. And then we have a, a felt disc. It has a mylar back, but it's got a felt, it's like shamming shoes. And we just go ahead and take this and run that two surfaces like so. finished.